Hello there everyone, welcome back to Ants Authority. Today we will discuss about the topic Do Ants Really Have Muscles? In this video, we will discuss about this topic in detail, so let's start the video. Ants have muscles in their bodies that are actually muscle fibers and differ from those present in humans. These provide support and strength to their bodies and allow faster movement. They can also help in food digestion, excretion, molting, respiration, nest formation and self-protection. They control movement of mandibles and help grind food. Every living organism needs muscles to survive because they have to change their location for food collection, avoid predators and many other similar functions. Ants have muscles consisting of tissues and cells involved in controlled movement by contraction and relaxation. Moreover, they comprise multiple sarcomes which collectively form myofibrils or fibers constituting the muscular system of insects. These fibers are distributed all over the body including the head, thorax or abdomen and wings, legs, mandibles, etc. In addition, their total number is many times lesser than humans due to their smaller body size, providing less space for these fibers to adjust inside. They are involved in crucial functions of the body as they cannot avoid life threats find suitable materials and collect food without contraction movements. Furthermore, they connect directly to the exoskeleton through small hooks like structure, but they lay cartilage and ligaments. They play a crucial role in an insect's body as it is not possible for ants to survive without these fibers due to their direct involvement in locomotion and other bodily functions. The bodies of ants benefit from fast movement because their bodies have intrinsic and extrinsic muscles involved in locomotion or leg motion. Their contraction and relaxation allow insects to move forward as the extrinsic muscle contact with the coxa, which is the first segment of the leg connecting it to the thorax. The thorax region contains a bundle of muscles involved in different functions related to motion and allows them to jump and climb on surfaces. Moreover, this region contains dorsal ventral muscles supporting wings for taking higher flight in the air. However, these are only present in the elates or male and female reproductive ants. The bodies of ants lay bones but contain muscles that provide shape and support to the body when they have to perform heavy duty tasks. Their lighter bodies have fewer muscle fibers that give superior strength to carry heavy weight. They can easily carry almost 10 to 50 times of body weight without getting crushed. Some others like American field ants have strong neck joints and powerful bodies that can lift around 5000 times heavy weight efficiently. Moreover, their bodies provide strength to compete with their rivals using appendages and larger mandibles that can help defeat opponents by biting and stinging. Digestion of food involves muscular movement as they push the food down to the stomach. When it enters the mouth, the mandibles break and chop it into pieces and the siberial muscles suck it into the mouth and pass it to the back of the mouth. After that, the gut wall contracts and the visceral muscles pass it to the digestive tract. The spinster muscles push it to the stomach for initiation of the digestion process and extraction of nutrients. Furthermore, the coordination of abdominal muscles allows efficient digestion and excretion of food through excretory organs. Ant bodies go through a molting process during complete metamorphosis and become bigger adults. It involves shedding the exoskeleton to grow into bigger bodies and develop properly. They have to contract their bodies using segmental muscles and remove the older outer skeleton so that the new exoskeleton replaces it. This contraction leads to the cracking of the older waxy layer. Accordingly, these insects cannot split their exoskeleton and face failure in the molting process if their bodies lack contracting muscles. Thanks for watching the video.